I am High Contra <laughs> and I am here uh, upstairs at the legendary Catapult Records in Cardiff on their, in their new premises which are very nice and uh, I've just done uh, an install kind of uh, album launch uh, doing a little set and then uh, you know, signing records and posters and stuff for the, the people that came out yeah there's was, was a nice turnout in here and uh, yeah, I'm just about to go and sound check for the show tonight. Yeah, the, the, the drum and bass scene has changed massively uh, because when I got into it, it was very much the underdog and looked down upon by other genres of dance music, uh, you know, people, when I'm working in the, the record shop, uh, you know, kind of house DJs uh, would, would very much be looking down upon drum and bass, you know, and think of it as kind of, you know, kind of bad boy music or just really noisy, uh, and it's just a quite an, a, a, a personally satisfying thing for me that you know, 11 years later, I've, I've been kind of instrumental in turning that around to the point where, you know, I am collaborating with some of the biggest house DJs in the world, Underworld and, and Tiesto. I'm Chris. Um, I am one of the two owners of Hospital Records. That gets me fun. Um, and uh, I am here upstairs at the brand new Catapult Records, which is lovely. It's nice, um, isn't it? Very nice to be above ground, seeing as Catapult used to be all about a very small, hot, sweaty basement. I guess it's only natural that, um, you know, with, with, with Lincoln being really our biggest artist for many years, um, for Tony and myself and for, and for Tom and for all of the kind of hospital family kind of coming up and down the motorway to Cardiff, you know, we've just got to know a lot of people here. And, you know, I'd like to think I've got a lot of friends here now. And, in, and I'm very obviously I'm, I'm very proud of Lincoln and everything that he's done. But I, I like the fact that you know he he I feel like you know he can he can now act as a kind of figurehead for this city, certainly in terms of music. Um, and and hopefully you know it's like nice being downstairs you know just seeing the people that were there. You know it's a young crowd and hopefully you know it's a young crowd, plenty of them making music I expect or, or, or wanting to DJ or, or, or maybe just wanting to do something creative and, uh, and hopefully um, you know if they sort of get a little piece of the high contrast backstory or, or the things that he's done and maybe that, that in some little way might help them sort of be a bit more inspired to actually get their heads down and work hard and believe in themselves. <laughs> most important thing is if is, is, is trying to stand out from the crowd. Now, how do you do that? It's, it's easier said than done. Uh, I think I did it by um, you know going against the grain of, of what was current at the time. I think a lot of people kind of are making tracks that sound like other tracks that are around at the moment, or DJing a particular kind of style that is currently trendy. But like when I was starting out, drum and bass was very dark and masculine um, and techy sounding, and I just went the complete other way and was sampling disco records and making, you know, more feminine sounding tunes. And it also it does really help, <laughs> kids. <laughs> it really helps if, as a as an aspiring producer, you are not only that you have the talent, but you have the focus and the energy and the social skills and the kind of aptitude to if you know so that if someone like me or Tony sends you an email you respond and you respond straight away and you pursue it and you don't just kind of kick back and think oh yeah you know, I'll, I'll get around to that because without sounding like an arrogant idiot I haven't got loads of time so I'd like to think that if, if I send one of you an email or you're going to want to talk to us
We're going to be performing, it's your album launch at um, Cardiff Student Union tonight. Yeah. Um, for the uh, for your new album, and you're going to have a band on stage. Well, I mean, I'm I'm not. Uh, I haven't put together a band to do, to perform live. I'll be DJing tonight, but with uh, vocals performed live by uh, Jesse Allen, um, a South Walian vocalist who appears on my album. Um, but then there will be a little kind of surprise. Um, appearance at the end of my set for one of, for the last track which is on the track it comes in with all kinds of Brazilian percussion and so uh, I've got a samba band I think 11 piece samba band um, who are going to come out and you know have a little carnival on stage uh, which should be interesting <laughs> I've never done it before so um, yeah I'm intrigued to see how it turns out Yeah, I mean, hopefully it won't be another five year wait till my next album, um, because it just feels insanely long. You know, when I think that in the first five years of my career I released three albums, and then in the second five years I released one. Uh, but I think I needed to just take that time to kind of readjust the things and then kind of get some perspective on what I've achieved so far, and then kind of go away and get some new ideas and, and new sounds and, and really, uh, you know, for me, I, this all, the new album almost feels like my fir first real album again, you know, and I feel it's certainly the most kind of uh, expressive of, 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 I don't know, personal stuff and emotions and things, you know. Um, so, you know, right now I feel quite rejuvenated, although I might not look it, but um, I... Uh, I feel like I could go into another album pretty soon. Uh, I've already got some ideas. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the, the question of how many more albums will I write, who can answer that? But it's, uh, yeah, you can use, you see the, the ticking clock of mortality before you, the, old, you know, the, the older you get. Um, and yeah, it's the question of. I guess more, you know, uh, uh, if you've still have something to say, so I'll, I'll keep doing it as long as I still feel I'm bringing something new to the table. Um, and how, so it's been five years since you last released something, um, and so probably, I know you went, you played in America last year, mm -hmm. um, and you've done other gigs obviously in between, but how are you feeling about going back out to promote something new since it's been five years since you last Yeah, no, it, it, it's, it's good, I'm enjoying kind of uh, the the whole process and you know promoting an album can weigh you down somewhat doing interviews uh, all the time but uh, you know a five-year gap is, is enough to make it all feel fresh again. <laughs>